Hello and welcome to Vacations by Tiffany. I'm your go-to travel agent giving you tips and information about cruises, Disney, and more. In this episode, we're exploring the different parts of Royal Caribbean's loyalty club, the Crown and Anchor Society. I'll cover each of the levels and the perks and benefits, and then after I'll answer some common questions that I get about the Crown and Anchor Society. When you book your very first cruise, you're automatically enrolled in Crown and & Anchor. And great news, it's free! Then, when that first cruise is over, you've earned your first few points. You're now on your way to earning free swag, free drinks, free cruises, and much more. You earn points for each night that you spend on your cruise. So, for example, a seven-night cruise will give you seven points. You'll see these points on your account usually a few days after the end of the cruise. After you've earned points, you'll also get access to discounted cruises. You get benefits on land with Hertz Rental Cars and MGM Resorts International. That starts after your first cruise is over. If you're staying in a suite, you get double points. So that same seven night cruise, for example, will now give you 14 points, along with all the benefits of staying in a suite. There are six different levels to crown an anchor. Gold, Platinum, Emerald, Diamond, Diamond Plus, and Pinnacle Club, each with more and more benefits as you go up. So let's talk about those benefits, starting with the first tier, Gold Level. This level begins with three points, which is typically your first cruise because it's rare to see a two night. After your cruise is over, you get access to discounted cruises. And then when you book that second one and step on board, your benefits begin. This includes discounts on wine by the glass, milkshakes at Johnny Rockets, also get a discount on the Voom internet service, and a couple of dollars in free play at the casino. Also one jackpot card when you purchase a bingo package. The discounts are basically everywhere on the ship. The spa, Royal Caribbean merchandise, photo studio, Ben and Jerry's ice cream, and much more. A list of all of these benefits can be found on Royal Caribbean's website and be sure to ask crew members when you sail on your second cruise. The next level is Platinum, which starts at 30 cruise points. The benefits you get here is everything I've listed before that the Gold level gets, plus more like a discount on balcony and suites. That's a great perk and one I've even used myself. There's also an exclusive top tier event on your cruise. You get more money in free play at the casino and more bingo jackpot cards. You also now get a discount on laundry and dry cleaning and a bigger discount at the spa. You can get a status match when you cruise on Celebrity Cruises, Royal Caribbean sister brand, and a robe to wear during your cruise, just to name a few of the perks. Emerald is the next level, starting at 55 cruise points. You'll get everything mentioned before from the Platinum level, and also get more things now, like a bigger discount on the Voom internet service, two complimentary bottles of water per adult, and remember these benefits start on your next cruise after reaching that level. So if you hit 55 points in the middle of a cruise, you will not get those benefits until your next cruise. Diamond is next, and this is a big level where a lot of the benefits really kick in. This begins at 80 cruise points. One of the perks is getting four complimentary drinks per person per day. That's up to $14 value each, not counting Starbucks or the Bionic Bar but you can order specialty coffees, cocktails, beer, wine, liquors, and frozen drinks and the like, and you get four per day. 
Now, if you don't use all four, they do not roll over into the next day. But that's four drinks per person per day of your cruise. Another perk is a free day of internet during your cruise for one device. You can also get a priority waiting list for a time in the main dining room and also for spa appointments and shore excursions. Another fun feature is access to the Diamond Lounge. You'll find one of these on each of the Royal Caribbean ships. They feature snacks and a bar and an evening happy hour where you can mix and mingle with other Diamond Club level members. You also get one complimentary photo per cruise instead of the buy one get one deal that you get with Emerald. When you reach 140 points, you'll get a milestone crystal block keepsake. Next up is Diamond Plus, which starts at 175 cruise points. The list of benefits includes everything I've listed from previous levels. And now you get more benefits like a buy one, get one specialty restaurant dinner. You get a discount on the deluxe beverage package. Now for more information about the beverage packages offered on Royal Caribbean, you can check out my episode on the Royal Caribbean playlist all about it and how to decide which one's right for you. You get two free days of Voom Internet with Diamond Plus. Another great perk is priority seating at the shows, in the theater, the ice skating rink, and also in the aqua theater. You get an amenity gift delivered to your stateroom, which you can pick from a list online depending on your points. Remember the four complimentary drinks that you got as Diamond? Well, that goes up to five drinks per person per day of your cruise with Diamond Plus. You get a discount on spa services, and then you can add on a complimentary spa treatment. They will explain at the spa which portions of their services are free and which are discounted. There is a sub-level within Diamond Plus at 340 cruise points where you get what's called Cheers with an Officer, where you can meet one of the officers on board at an exclusive event. You also get upgraded bathroom amenities at 340 points. And if you're sailing solo, the single supplement cruise fare is reduced from 150% to 200%. The very top tier is Pinnacle Club, and it begins at 700 cruise points. These benefits include everything I've mentioned before, and now you get six of those complimentary drinks per person per day of your cruise, free surf and stream internet for one device during your whole cruise instead of just one or two days. You also get access to the suite's only restaurant called Coastal Kitchen and a daily breakfast at a specialty restaurant. There's access to the suite lounge and also flexible arrival time on boarding day. You get a personalized lapel pin and best of all, you get a complimentary cruise in a balcony stateroom. And then you get another cruise in a junior suite for every 700 points after that. Now for some of the common questions I get as a travel agent about Crown and Anchor Society. First is, do the points expire? The answer is no. Each person has their own Crown and Anchor number and that stays with you for life. Do I keep my points if I change my name? Yes, you do. Just be sure to give Royal Caribbean all of the proper documents and they'll change your name in the system and you can keep cruising and earning points. Do kids earn points? They do. Just like I mentioned, they will have their own number and also some of the youth benefits will become available to them as you go up in tiers. Last question, do I earn points on celebrity cruises? You will not earn crown and anchor points on Royal Caribbean's sister brand, Celebrity, but you will instead earn what they call the Captain's Club points. And more importantly, depending on your level of crown and anchor, they will match your status 
when you sail on Celebrity. But they do not combine the points of the two brands. So if you're diamond level in Crown and Anchor, you'll receive equivalent recognition on Celebrity Cruises as Captain's Club Elite level. Be sure to check the Royal Caribbean website or give them a call for the official answers for any questions that you may have. Thank you very much for watching. Be sure to check out my Royal Caribbean playlist for more tips and information. Please consider subscribing to my channel. I have new episodes coming soon all about cruises, Disney, and more. See you next time.